Alrighty, gang. So on this video, we're up here still fishing Lopez Mateo. I'm just kind of showing you the zone here where that tree is, is where you want to cast. So we're going to move the boat up there here in a second. But what this video is all about is how important it is bait placement. You're going to see us throughout this video making a phenomenal amount of cast. We're going to be casting and casting and casting and casting. Because if you do not place your bait proper in the proper spot, there's a very, very good chance that you're not going to catch anything. You see along the mangroves there, as we get up here closer now, we'll move the boat up to the zone. But uh, you're going to see Mark and I constantly casting into those bushes. It's super important to cast and get your bait in the zone. If it's not in the zone, there's no reason to even wait. There's no reason to sit there and wait and wait and wait for something to happen. you got to wind it back in. Maybe put on a fresh live bait if your bait wasn't swimming. And then cast it. There I go. Right back in there. See, that was a short cast. It didn't work. Get a little backlash. I'm going to wind it back in because it didn't go in the zone. And now I'm going to cast it. Bait still looks like it's swimming pretty good. Cast it right back in there. Now he looks like he's in the zone where I may get a bite. But it's only in there for a second because of the current. The tide's coming out very fast. You can see the water moving by the boat very quickly. There's no reason to leave the bait out there. So I wind it back in. Look at my bait again. One more cast in there. Now I got the tree. Because I didn't get it quite in there where I wanted it to go. So I'm showing you. You've got to be in those bushes right there. Right on the edge of those bushes. Right in there. And try not to snag onto the bushes but it's super important bait placement i know the water looks kind of dirty but it's not that's just leaves floating by and those fish see those leaves every single day but the really cool part is if you can put your bait right on the edge of those branches of those trees you've got a very very good chance of getting a bite but i just want to show you where you have to cast right into that little cove right there Right on the left-hand side, that cove, down to this tree. If your bait goes in any of those areas, you got a very good chance of getting a bite. If it gets, if it doesn't go in those areas, though, you're not going to get bit. So you constantly casting out, winding in, casting out. Mark, Mark's checking the depth of the water right there, and uh, I'm just getting ready. I'm just flying the drone around, trying to show you the exact spots where we have to throw our baits. It's crucial. If your bait doesn't go in the right spot, gang, there's a very, very good chance that you're not going to get a bite. And if you don't get a bite, why are you fishing? You want to get bit. That's why we all go fishing to get bit. This little spot is so prolific. We've caught snook, corvina, pargo, triggerfish, baby halibut. All in this one little spot, just throwing our baits right in there in that little cove that you see of the mangrove right on the right. For some reason, those snook have decided that is their house. They love that little spot right there. So I got the camera pointing the exact way I want it to point. Get a little chum, throw a little bait in there, get me a bait. Walk up to my rod and throw it out there. Now watch, I'm going to try to cast it right into that little pocket. Right into the little pocket. If it doesn't reach that pocket, there's a pretty good chance I'm not going to get a bite. And it's a lot of work. It's not easy, believe me. you got to work on it. There, right in the zone. Good chance you get a bite right in that zone. There, see? Look, I put it right in the zone. I got bit instantly. It's all about making sure you're right in the zone. If you don't put it in the zone, you're not going to get a bite. So as you can see, I waited and waited and got a little grouper. Caught a little baby broomtail grouper. But it's all about making sure you're right in the spot, right in the zone. And you'll see Mark and I making a million casts over and over and over again. It's crazy how you have to be so technical. Those fish will not come out of those branches. They will not come out of the bushes. They... It's very technical fishing. A lot of people cannot pull it off. That's why there's so many fish there. Instant. Right again. The minute my bait hit the water because I put it in the right spot. Mark and I both got bit. That's a little snook I caught there. 
pretty fun fishing. If, if you can put the bait in the spot, you can get a bite almost every single cast. Pretty fun fishing game. You got to check this place out, Lopez Mateo. It's the place to be. You want to be up in Lopez Mateo fishing with my good buddy Ruben. He runs this little charter boat service up there. 350 bucks for the day. He catches your bait. He, uh, he's got it going on. If you want to get together with Ruben and go fishing, you give him a call at uh, 613-113-7303. There's another nice snook right there. These fish, it's all about technically getting it into that little, little niche. You want to be right in that spot. As you can see, if you put your bait in that little niche, you got a real good chance of getting a nice fish. Reuben throwing a little bait in there. Where did we get this bait? Well, actually, Reuben catches it with the throw net on your way up to the spot. He's got a few places where he finds the sardines all the time. He'll catch your bait on the way, so you got live bait to fish with. If you went over on the other side of the boat where the blue net is, you'd probably do pretty good catching a... Corvina, but Mark and I really were focusing on the snook in this spot because well, that's one of my very most favorite fish to eat. And I just love the way that they present themselves in the mangroves for us to catch. Very highly technical. We're not using lures. We're not casting lures in there. We're fishing live bait and we're fly line. There's no weight on our line. It's just a hook. A little piece of uh, opsin floral carbon, look at that, right on the spot bit instantly. If you put it right on the branch, you get bit every cast. The whole thing is making sure you get right on the little branches of the mangroves if you want to catch these fish. But it's all fly line and no weight at all, zero weight, no swivel, nothing, just a hook tied to a piece of opsin floral carbon tied to a piece of soft steel braided line. We're using 35-pound floral. We're using 60-pound braid and a thin wire mustad hook. Fly lined right in there. No weight at all. This West Coast fishing at its finest. No weight. There, bit again. Every cast, if you put it in the proper spot, every single cast is a bite. But you see us casting over and over again because of the fact that we don't get them quite on the spot every time but there's no time to waste there's no time to oh i just let a bait soak in there and i'll, I'll get bit nope you got to get it right in the zone you have to put it right on the spot and one last thing fly line fly line fly line super important if you don't know how to fly line go to my website yoursaltwaterguide.com teach you all about fly line and how we're doing this and how we're catching fish all day every day I just can't get enough. I love to fish.